Social media app TikTok continues to gain popularity. It really picked up steam during the pandemic. That's right. It's also been a gateway for performers to showcase songs, skits, and even acting monologues. And we're joined live now by Ryan Kelly. He's an actor and comedian known as Youth Passer Ryan on TikTok to talk about his success with the app. Good morning, Ryan. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. Happy to be here. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Ryan, we must know, how has TikTok changed the game for you as an actor and comedian? It's been wild. It, it definitely changed really fast, pretty much overnight. And uh, it's been able to open up a lot of opportunities for performances, for comedy, and it's been great. It's really helped me. I tour colleges, so it's been really fun to be able to connect with people now on a different level. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, speaking on those opportunities, what have you kind of been able to do uh, directly from becoming TikTok famous? <laughs> it's always such a funny phrase because when people ask me, are you famous? I go, if you have to ask, no, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> that's, it's a fun part, though, of, of getting to kind of like see different things and enjoy different parts of life and, and, and kind of use this to, to help me out. It's been nice. It's been a great uh, gateway and marketing tool. Sure. And you have 3.3 million followers on the app. Amazing. And recently you decided to go to a wedding with one of your followers. Can you tell us more about that experience? I did. Yeah, I took a gamble where I, I got this DM that said, hey, my boyfriend broke up with me last minute. I have this RSVP for a wedding. And I was like, that sounds like so much fun to go and just make someone's day a little brighter. And so I, uh, I did. And it was so much fun. She was lovely. The, the whole event was great. I'm a total sucker for weddings, so it was great. That's crazy. I love those videos. I was watching them uh, late, late, late last night. But uh, so, Ryan, you know, what's next for you? Is TikTok something full time, long term you're looking to do? Or do you kind of want this to be a bridge to future acting and comedy work for you? I think ideally I'd like it to be a bridge. I think that TikTok is one of those things that we all watch and we enjoy. But it's also one of those things that we remember how Vine went so quickly and that we're hoping that we will hopefully have uh, stronger bases and other platforms before something like that happens. Or if it doesn't, something we can continue to play with for as long as it'll let us. And what advice do you have for people out there who are looking to be content creators? Like I know you probably started small and then you got this big following, but what advice do you have for people? Uh, always find the platform that's growing the most. I always think that it's a uh, it's a funny thing. I think it was Will Ferrell that said that uh, every overnight success is 10 years in the making. I've done improv for 14 years. So at this point, it's just I learned how to tell a story and how to figure this out. So keep figuring out exactly what your skill set is. Keep honing that. And when the opportunity arises, you'll be ready. Yeah, Ryan and I, we actually did improv together in high school. Nice. We were on the improv team together. Any skills from those classes that you were able to take into your life now that have uh, kind of helped you out? Absolutely. I think improv is just so versatile and it keeps you good at writing very quick on your feet. And that's been so helpful, especially trying to come up with videos on the fly, uh, especially when I'm collaborating with people. And it's like, well, we need this to be written. And it's like, well, OK, I've got 20 seconds. We'll figure it out. It'll go. Absolutely. I can connect to you on that when it comes to the news business, too. It definitely right. helps out there. I'm sure. Well, Ryan, it was so great to see you and reconnect with you. Thanks so much for coming on the show this morning. Thank you so much for having me and I hope you guys have a great day. <laughs>